equations involving fractions. A basic introduction to equations can be found in the video Introduction to Algebra. We will need to know several things in this video to solve equations involving fractions. Firstly, a mathematical statement such as this one, which contains an equal sign, is called an equation. The equal sign tells us that the left hand side equals the right hand side. When we are asked to solve equations, we are calculating what the value of the unknown number or variable is, in this case, x. To solve equations, we must get x on its own on one side of the equal sign. To do this, we carry out various operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But remember, whatever operation we carry out on the left hand side, we must carry out the same operation on the right hand side. For example, x plus 5 equals 12. To get x by itself on one side of the equal sign, we subtract 5 from both sides. This leaves us with x on its own on the left hand side, because plus 5 minus 5 equals 0, and 7 on the right hand side. So x is equal to 7 and our equation is solved. Sometimes we are asked to solve equations involving fractions, such as this one. There are three steps we must follow to solve this equation. Firstly, we must find the common denominator. The bottom number of a fraction is called a denominator. So in our first term, 3x over 4, 4 is our denominator. A common denominator is a number into which the denominators will all divide exactly into. So we look for a denominator that all the com current denominators, 3, 4 and 6, will divide into exactly. 3, 4 and 6 divide exactly into 12, so 12 is our common denominator. Now our next step is we must multiply each term by the common denominator. So we're going to multiply each term by 12. So we have 12 by 3x over 4. And we have 12 by 2x over 3. Each of our denominators will divide exactly into 12, so we'll cancel first. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes 3 times. 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 12 goes 4 times. And 6 into 6 goes once, 6 into 12 goes twice. And now we multiply out the brackets and solve as we would with a normal equation. So we have 3 by 3x will give us 9x. 4 by 2x will give us 8x, and we'll get our minus, so minus 8x. And we have 2 by 1 will give us 2. So we have 9x minus 8x will give us 1x. And 1x equals 2, or just x equals 2. So our equation is solved. Now we look at another example. So here again, it's a, we have an equal sign, so it's an equation. So our first step again is we need to get a common denominator. So a denominator common to all the numbers 4, 3 and 1 will again be 12. And again, our first step is we multiply each of our terms by the common denominator. So our common denominator is 12. So we have 12 by k plus 3 over 4. 12 by k plus 2. denominators will divide exactly into our common denominator. So 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes 3 times, 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 12 goes 4 times, and then 1 will go into 12 once, so we don't need to do anything there. Now we multiply out our brackets, so 3 by k will give us 3k, 3 by 3 will give us 9, minus 4 by k will give us minus 4k, and minus 4 by 2 give us minus 8. We have 12 by 1 will give us 12. So now 3k plus 9 minus 4 minus 8 equals 12. So 3k minus 4k will give us minus 1k. 9 minus 8 will give us plus 1 equals 12. to subtract 1 from both sides. So we have minus 1k equals 11. Now to get this to be uh, just k, what we're going to do is we're 
want to divide both sides by minus 1. So you have minus 1k divided by minus 1. And you have 11 divided by minus 1. So here we're going to have, be left with just k. 